All right, we're taking a look at uh, Charleston Mini Gun Works. This is uh, their Model B blunderbuss. This is an actual working firearm. Uh, we've got a hammer, trigger, a little release there, barrel, chamber, muzzle, grip, everything like a real gun. Uh, very much like its big brother, the real blunderbuss there. So um, this one uses a four millimeter pin shot or rim, four millimeter pin fire. So we've got the stand work cushion cap that we might use for something like this little uh, cap and ball pistol. And then next to it here, we've got that, we've got the four millimeter pin fire, which you can see has a little tiny piece of guitar string looking stuff sticking out of it, which is the pin. And then uh, the tiny, basically, uh, cap. That's gonna go into the back here, very much like the uh, cap on a cap and ball with the pin pointed up and you can see there's a little tiny slot in the top of the chamber and as that slides in the pin falls into that line and where the rod go I'll push that in okay then we can close the barrel now we've got the uh, standard I don't even know if it's standard, but that's like it might be a 30 caliber lead ball. And then we've got some steel shot here, or lead shot, which is actually the projectile for this little guy. So we can drop one in there, or a couple perhaps. And now just the cap alone is going to be enough to send those off. All right, so we've strategically placed this bottle of water in this tree, and we're going to shoot the, uh, the pinfire blunderbuss at it. Hopefully the balls won't come out. And we'll see what kind of results we get. So far the bottle is in one piece after that. And I guess I can't really tell where any of the projectiles hit it, if they even hit it. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as your personal defense gun, but I think I will recommend shooting this a lot more in future videos. So if you have any uh, comments or questions about it, feel free to let them know or let us know in the comments wherever you happen to see the video. And as always, thanks for watching.